Hey guys, welcome to a quick tech video here in the Pilatus PC12. Today I want to show you how to start a plane on. Uh, it's currently cold and dark. We just did the pre flight and uh, we're ready to start and get this plane going. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to follow the checklist items. Uh, so, before start checklist, uh, park and brakes, it's right here. Make sure you bring it back, sit it in, and once you do that, make sure you load the brakes. So, you tap on the pedals. They will load that. Well, shocks, I got them. Fuel caps, they look good on that side. And it good, looks good on my side too as well. Crew seats and seat belts are adjusted and secured. Overhead electrical switches, make sure everything up here is currently off. And it is. And uh, we'll continue with standby bus, if applicable, because only uh, Series 10s have them. We have one, so standby bus is on. That's going to power mainly our standby indicators and the uh, uh, Garmin 430 here in the outer panel in case we need to get a clearance. All right, the ice and switches, uh, I don't know if you can see that initial separator open. So we're going to come up here and verify that the initial separator is open. What this is going to do is prevent any uh, rocks or FOD to get into the engine once we're starting up. So it is open right now. <clears throat> Cooling and heating must be off, and as you can see, it's off right now. The system is off. And uh, seatbelt, no smoking signs. We're not gonna worry about that right now. We're empty without passengers. EPS switch is this little button right here. We're gonna test it. Make sure we have a green light for five seconds, and then we're gonna arm it. So one, two, three, four, five. It's working, so we're gonna arm it. And we have an amber uh, light on. All right. Uh, MOR, PCL, actually ECS switch, ECS switch is this one, that's our environmental, environmental control switch, it's off right now. And uh, MOR, PCL and condition lever, so this is the MOR, it's actually backing in. PCL is back and condition lever is back here as well. I also like to verify that our emergency uh, handles are in and secured. Alright, battery switch on. So we go up here and turn on battery one and we have 24.5 volts. We need at least 24 to start this plane up. Uh, navigation light, it should be on. It's up here, it is on, so that's good. External power, we don't have one right now. Uh, landing gear position light, we need to have three green and we have three green here. If you don't see those, sometimes it's because maybe the advisory switches are on the dim position. As you can see, it's barely noticeable. So you need to bring them to the normal position in order to see everything. And then cause should be appropriate. So we go to the cause panel, we verify we don't have any hydraulic cause, low oil cause, passenger door or cargo door, which will be up here in the top left. Everything looks good. So uh, let's get the beacon on. So beacon is on. And uh, we'll say clear left, clear center, and uh, clear right. Uh, I'm gonna press the starter, uh, it's right up here. We have the starter and starter interrupt in case we need to abort the startup. But what's gonna happen is that once I press the starter, the NG is gonna come up. We need at least 13 NG to bring the condition lever to the ground idle position. And then ITT is gonna spool up, NG is gonna spool up. All pressure and temperature are going to come up and uh, fuel flow is going to come up as well as prop RPM. Uh, we're looking not to exceed the uh, numbers here and we should be good. So already everything is clear. Here we go. Let me just do this with my right hand. So starter coming on. And G is rising. 11, 12, 13. So ground idle. That's gonna spool up. So you can see the props turning. Spooling up, make sure ITT doesn't go too high or NG doesn't get stuck. It's gonna stabilize now and then go at it again. All right, secondaries are gonna kick in any minute now. You will see a rise in ITT. There we go. We have more than 60 NG, 
So we're gonna turn on generator one. And we're gonna see it loading up here. 20 volts, 140 amps. Gen two is coming on. You can see it coming on right there online. So avionics one and avionics two. Standby bus is off. Cooling and heating can come on finally. That's the AC. ACS goes to the auto position. And uh, we will put flaps 15 now, but we're just taxing the plane over, so uh, we're gonna keep them up. As you can see, everything is nice and up right now. There's no weird cause going on, and uh, cabin temperature is 39 degrees Celsius. Well, that's how you start up a PC-12. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them on the comments below. And uh, if you like the video, make sure you click that thumbs up button and you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.